Well, there you go, another eight hours, and I don't feel like I have anything to show for it. What's up guys, Jason here, Spying Entrepreneur, and in this quick video tutorial, I want to share a concept with you that will help you find more time in your business. So if you're like myself and other business owners and entrepreneurs and you feel like you have a task list that just never seems to end or worse you seem to work really hard all day long and then you look back at the day and you feel like you didn't do anything well welcome to the club this video is here to help you and show you how you can take back control of your day and shifting your mindset when it comes to time and time management is the first step to taking back control of your day and actually getting more done in less time throughout your day, you know, building your business. So one of the first things you wanna look at in shifting your mind is your return on time. Look, your time is locked in, just like everybody else's. We all have the exact same amount of time. There are other variables that we can control, such as energy and outsourcing and the, the size of our team. But at the end of the day, time, we all have the exact same amount of time in the day. So one of the things you wanna look at is increasing the return on your time. So for instance, you could either spend your entire day doing things that give you a 10x return, a 100x return, or a 1,000x return. Now, I'll get into that concept in a second, So, but I wanna take a step back and share two very quick time management and control techniques so you can get, actually start getting more done in less time because this mental kind of shift is a little bit of a longer term strategy. So the first thing you can do is start tom, time block, tom blocking, start time blocking and stop multitasking. Look, our brains are not designed to multitask at all. We are designed to work on one task with very specific focus in a deep work effort and then move on to something else. So I'll briefly go over time blocking here. I have a link in the description and in the cards that you can check out a complete video on time blocking. In a nutshell, essentially you look at your day, you plan out your day and you say when you're going to do specific projects or specific tasks. So it's not on a granular thing like at five o'clock at I'm going to do this and 505 I'm going to do that. You're going to schedule blocks in 90 to two hour chunks. Make sure that you block out your task in terms of energy. So if you know something's going to take a lot of energy out of you, don't put another really high energy task right after it. Okay. So that's one of the quick tips for you on time blocking. And then in conjunction with that, inside of your time block, focus on one specific kind of task. It's very important that you focus on one thing because what happens in your brain is your brain can only focus on one thing at a time. So you'll focus on one task and you won't move on to the next one until you're completely done. And this is because your brain has something called bleed time, which means when you jump back and forth in between tasks, your brain will stay on the first task that you're working on and you'll lose as much as 20 to 30% of your processing power when you're switching back and forth, which means you'll be focused on this task, but because this other one wasn't complete and you're jumping back and forth, 30% of your processing power is still thinking about this guy and your brain takes a while to close down and then focus on this new one. And if you're jumping back and forth, your brain's just gonna get really, really confused because it's not going to be able to properly give the proper attention to one task or another. Again, time blocking is a huge subject, so I'll link to it in the description so you can start using it for yourself to take back your time in your business. Now, the real key to getting more done in less time in your business is something called the value ladder. And this is how you value your time. Essentially, you're going to start applying a scaled value system or scaled dollar system to all of your tasks. And this is where the mind shift comes in because your task list is never gonna get shorter. The more your business grows, the longer the task list will become. So here's what you do. Step number one, you take all of the tasks that you have now and you assign a dollar value with the value ladder. So you're gonna have a $10, hour, $10 an hour work, $50 an hour work, and $100 an hour work. And using that value ladder, you're going to assign a dollar value approximately how much would it cost to pay someone to outsource? Don't worry, I'm not telling you to spend $5,000 hiring a, a giant team or saying that you have to spend all your money outsourcing because I know that's not reasonable for all of us at this point, right? Some of us, we still have to do a lot of the things ourselves. So if that you're in that position, you're not ready to four hour work week your life, right? And just outsource everything. Then what you wanna do is step number two is as you start using time blocking, you stop multitasking. When you start your day, when you're looking at how you get more done in your business, you start with the $100 an hour work. 
because you have to recognize that your task list is always going to be endless. What isn't endless is your time. So to start increasing the value and return you get on your time, start focusing on that $100 an hour work and do that $100 an hour work first thing. You do that $100 an hour work and you don't move on to the 50 or the 10 until you're done with the 100. Now, something's gonna happen. It's going to feel like you're not getting things done at first, right? However, when you look at the span of a week, uh, two weeks, and starting off looking back on a month, all of a sudden you'll notice your business is actually moving forward faster than before, even though it's still going to feel like your task list is endless, right? You're still gonna end the day and you're gonna be looking at your task manager and you're gonna go like, man, they're like 50, $10 tasks and 30, you know, $50 tasks and I still have $1,000 an hour tasks, right? But when you focus on those $100 an hour tasks, those are the ones that are gonna move your business forward. And here's where it gets really cool because as you complete those $100 an hour tasks, number one, you begin to get better at doing those tasks. So you become more efficient because you're time blocking and you're fo radically focusing. And number two, as it pushes your business forward, pushing your business forward means that your business is running more smoothly, which means you have begin to have more time to focus more on the $100 an hour tasks. And because you're focusing on those tasks that push everything forward, all of a sudden, as your income rises, you'll begin to be able to do what we all want to do and we all love in the four hour work week and begin to outsource. And all of a sudden you have extra income to take, hire an assistant or hire an expert to start outsourcing and managing those $10 an hour tasks because you're focused on the $100 an hour task. And as the business owner, as the leader, the master commander of your ship, it is your job to focus on those $100 an hour plus tasks for now until forever, you know, as you scale, maybe you start having a $1,000 an hour and $100,000 an hour tasks if you get really crazy, but those $100 an hour tasks are the things that are gonna pull your business forward. And are those other tasks still gonna be there? Yes. Are they some, are you gonna look at your task list and still feel like sometimes you're not moving forward? Yes, but what's great is focusing on those $100 an hour tasks, regardless of how you feel emotionally, is going to be pulling your business forward. So thank you so much for watching. If you got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. And in the comment section below, let me know what you struggle with when it comes to getting things done. We all have different quirks and we all have different challenges when it comes to getting things done, but there are some universal things like time blocking, not multitasking, applying a value ladder to our schedules and task lists to really Really push us forward. So I'm curious if you're still having struggles, let me know in the comment section below. And of course, until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.